Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to talk about the differences between hardware engineering and computer engineering. So, let's get started. Alright, so in a previous video I talked about the differences between software engineering and computer engineering and so I thought I would just kind of touch on this other part which is hardware engineering versus computer engineering and it's the same question really, like is it the same thing? Is computer engineering hardware engineering? or um, like what are the differences between the two. So I thought I'd just kind of address this part as well. On the spectrum of like, you know, electrical engineering and computer science uh, and computer engineering being in the middle, and then hardware engineering would be more towards the electrical engineering. So that would involve doing more work with the actual hardware and actually doing the lower level programming such as assembly language. Yes, you could do this as well as a computer engineer, but the uh, hardware engineering part of computer engineering involves that kind of work. Hardware engineering involves uh, building a computer as well, like knowing the basics of a computer, like the amount of RAM a computer has, the uh, processing power, working more with like the um, makeup of a computer instead of what the computer actually does in terms of like the software, uh, you learn just how it's built more so. It deals with a microprocessor, you can communicate with the microprocessor, um, you do low level assembly language or even C++, um, have it work certain ways. You don't actually build the circuit. I think that's more for electrical engineers. They're the ones who actually build the microprocessors and the circuit and the board. They're the ones who kind of put all that together, whereas the uh, hardware engineer will get that hardware to communicate with the computer or get the computer to communicate with the hardware. For example, computer architecture wouldn't be like hardware engineering. You know, you learn the architecture of a computer, you learn how it's built, the different pieces that are put together in order for it to run. And I think that's the main distinction between computer engineering and hardware engineering. Um, whereas computer engineering also involves lower level assembly language as well as communicating with the microcontroller, but it also involves coding with that microcontroller and other like operating systems on the computer where you go and you build programs or you make sure they're running um, appropriately and not just with the microcontroller, but also operating with other software systems within the computer. So it's not just the hardware aspect of a computer, it's also like the software and the um, operating system. Computer engineering is like a broad overview of both hardware and software engineering. If you'd like to know more about computer engineering, um, I also have another video uh, in the link down below. I'll list it there. I go more de in depth about computer engineering and the specifics as to what you actually do and I think what courses you would take as a computer engineer. So if you'd like to look at that, you can. But um, yeah, I think that's it. It's a pretty short, quick video. So there's not very many differences. Um, you could either take the hardware track or the software track. Hardware track involves more lower level programming, working with the hardware, software track involves more um, working with the programmers and software development team, uh, computer science. So yeah, I mean, those are the differences. I guess you, I guess if you decide to go the hardware track, you can be considered a hardware engineer with a computer engineering degree. So in a sense, yes, computer engineering is hardware engineering, but that's only if you go down that hardware track. But there are electrical engineers who can also become hardware engineers. Uh, they would probably just have to learn a little bit more about the computer and more about programming, just a little bit more. So yeah, I thought I would kind of just go over that and um, kind of give you guys an explanation as to what the differences are between the two. And I hope you guys like this video. It's a really short, quick video and thanks for watching. Bye.